Massage Weekly, a series of five 15 minute sequences of massage moves targeting three focal points the hips, the low back, and the shoulders to inspire your home practice. Begin by lying down on your back with your knees bent and your feet standing parallel, hip distance apart. Lift and lower each shoulder blade, flattening them against the floor. Press equally into both feet, curling your tailbone toward the knees and roll up the sacrum and the low spine to rest against your back ribs. Place the balls underneath each hip bone and lower back down into pressure. Take a four count breath in and a five count breath out, allowing yourself to soften into the pressure. Bring the palms face down to support movement. Begin by rocking the knees to the left, rolling to the pinky toe side of the left foot and the big toe side of the right foot. Roll back through center, rocking the knees now to the right, rolling onto the pinky toe side of the right foot and the big toe side of the left foot. And roll back to center. Continue this movement and link the movement with your breath. As the tissue begins to soften, you may find yourself wanting to shift the balls. Feel free to follow these cues. Shift the ball in increment in any direction. As the knees move toward the floor, space is opened up on the opposite side to shift the ball up, down, in, or out. This is a perfect way to begin the dialogue between your brain and your body. Now flip the palms face down to support your movement and allow the knees to draw together and meet in the center like a teepee. Press into the knees strongly, activating the muscles against the balls, and then release opening back up and continue to open the knees towards the floor as far as feels comfortable rolling onto the pinky toe sides of both feet. Keep this movement slow by linking the movement to your breath flapping the knees open as you inhale and using your exhale to press the knees together. Do this a few times and find your own rhythm. As the knees close, activating the muscles. As the knees open, sinking deeply into the pressure. Inhale the knees back to center, press into the feet equally and take the balls out from under. Roll down the spine and come to rest on the sacrum. Smooth your breath and soften your skin against the floor. Now press into the feet curling the tailbone up toward the knees, roll up the sacrum and up the spine until you're resting on your back ribs. Take the massage balls, one in each hand, and place them on either side of your spine, right below your belly button, and lower the tailbone toward the floor. This will increase the natural curve of your lumbar spine and tilt the pelvis so the tailbone tips down. Take a four count breath in, and a five count breath out, allowing yourself to soften into the pressure. Heel toe the feet wide. Inhale, and then as you exhale, allow the left knee down across the midline. This increases the pressure on the right side. Inhale back up, and exhale the right knee down across the midline, which increases the pressure on the left side. Inhale the knee back up, and continue to scissor the knees, merging the movement with your breath.
As you let the left knee down across the midline, use your left hand to move the ball up, down, in or out, avoiding the spine and the ribs. And then switch to the other side. This is a softening technique. Follow your cues and listen and respond by moving the balls. When you're finished, inhale the knees back up. Press into the feet and replace the balls underneath the belly button on either side of the spine. Soften into the pressure. Now press into the feet and begin to peel the tailbone slowly away from the floor. This increases the pressure on the balls. Continue to tilt the pelvis, drawing the belly back toward the spine and then slowly reverse, allowing the tailbone to lower. Do this a few times, pinpointing and releasing. Press into the feet equally, lifting yourself up off of the balls. Take the balls out from underneath and then roll down the spine and rest against the sacrum. Press into the feet equally, pointing the tailbone toward the knees. Tilt the pelvis up and roll up the sacrum and up the vertebrae of the low back. And then lower yourself back down and come back to rest on the sacrum. This time press into the feet, roll up past the pelvic crest and through the low back and rest against the back of the rib cage. Inhale deeply and feel the rib cage expand and then lower back down the spine to rest against the sacrum. One last time, press into the feet, roll up past the ribs, this time resting onto the shoulder blades. Gaze down towards your knees. You should be in a modified bridge, a long diagonal line from your shoulders to your knees. Keep an active imprint of the feet the legs engaged and the core strong. And then slowly lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time as though you were laying down a strand of pearls along a table. And come into stillness, resting against the sacrum. Draw the knees into the chest to counterbalance. Next, draw your chin towards your chest, lifting your head and shoulders off of the floor. Press the massage balls on either side of the spine underneath the trapezius muscles at the top of the shoulders, and then lower the head back down to create pressure. Now interlace your fingers to form a cup and place the cup at the back of your head. Draw the chin toward the chest, Next, allow the head to lower toward the floor, opening the elbow wings. As the wings open, press into the feet and lift the pelvis into a modified bridge, creating a downward trajectory from your knees to your shoulders, increasing the pressure on the balls. As you lower the pelvis, draw the head back up and the elbows toward the nose. Continue to do this weight transfer until it feels like a comfortable flow. See if you can merge the breath and the movement, inhaling as the pelvis lifts and exhaling as the pelvis lowers.
When you've completed this movement, roll side to side, take the balls out from underneath. Shimmy your hips, shimmy your shoulders, shake your head. Come into a resting position and take a moment of stillness to integrate and track sensation. Notice what you notice.